What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with another video. This time taking a second look at Microsoft's Game Pass for PC. They're calling it the Xbox Game Pass for PC. So you will need the newest version of Windows, that's worth mentioning. But once you install the updated version of Windows, and then the beta Xbox program, you will be able to get in and take a look. They've updated the UI, everything looks a lot cleaner than previous, and they've added a crud ton of games. They've recently announced at E3 that they've added over 100 titles, and if you remember my previous video, you'll recall that they didn't have much as far as a selection went. You had a few games, Gears of War, and then some filler stuff, but mostly just Drek and nothing worth mentioning. Now you have the option of sorting by genre. I like that they have categories like this now. You've got everything from Wolfenstein, Titan Quest, Halo Wars, but that was already in the previous version. Shenmue 1 and 2. Super Lucky's Tale, Slay the Spire, and even Metro Exodus. Now this is awesome because this is an Epic Store exclusive, so you can't get this in Steam unless you pre-ordered it. However, you can play it in Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass for PC. This is an awesome way to play a great game for less than $10. I believe it's $4.99 to sign up. They were offering a deal for the first month at a dollar. I'm not sure if it's still going on, but you should definitely check that out. Seeing as how paying a dollar to play any of these games is definitely worth it. Now, it's also worth mentioning that it is pretty tough to record. You have to pretty much disable anything that's in the background. I was able to get some gameplay footage of Hollow Knight and Ruiner. However, when I tried to get some gameplay footage of Metro Exodus, it basically crashed every single time, and unfortunately, it also disabled my IQ software for the Corsair gaming mouse that allows me to map keys to the buttons on the side. I think this is pretty much because of their security protocols. They're trying to prevent people from bypassing and just downloading these games right and then cracking them I'm assuming. So unfortunately it's tough to record unless you have an external card. I prefer to use Nvidia's capture software. So this problem that was in the previous version is still persistent in the newer version and that is that if you're trying to use a third party like overlay for streaming or capture, it's not going to work really well. Which is sad because you can't really recommend this to streamers or content creators, but if you're just an average person looking to play a bunch of games, new, old, what have you, this is a great tool for doing so and fairly well priced if I might say so myself. The last thing I want to mention is that you cannot play this offline. I tried unplugging the ethernet cable and starting up the application and I received this error message. Which seems pretty obvious, it's a pay to play service so you should be connected to the internet. It just sucks that it's not like Steam allowing you to play offline, so you will need an internet connection at all times to play these games unfortunately. So that's a quick look at the new Xbox Game Pass for PC. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Cheers.